So it is spooky season, and if you know anything about Arizona, it's that we have some seriously spooky history. And that's why we have Jared Riddle from Spirit of AZ Tours here to tell us about some of these kind of Halloween style tours. So we were just kind of talking about it. Mm -hmm. You have other tours, but we're really focusing on these kind of spooky season tours. Yeah. So Jared, tell us first of all, what you guys do with your business and just kind of give us the overview. So at uh, our business, Spirit of Arizona Tours, we focus on Phoenix history and Arizona history. So mm -hmm. like I mentioned, I am a historian, so I'm very proud of our history. Mm -hmm. We have a very unique Old West history, and I yeah. love showing that off to people from out of state. Mm -hmm. They come here for our Old West history. Uh, but the tours that we're talking about, the Phoenix Murders and Mysteries, the Phoenix Haunted Pub Crawl, the brand new one, Phoenix Shadows, the Boo Trail, those <laughs> all... It. Those all focus on true crime here in Phoenix with, with, with haunted reputations. Oh man, so. that is so cool. Okay, so we were kind of talking about some of the places mm -hmm. that you take these people to. Mm -hmm. So we're talking cemeteries, mm -hmm. we're talking like interesting old houses where mm -hmm. murders have happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, give me like an inside, like give me a little taste of some of the, some of the cool places that, that people get to go. So uh, probably the one that draws a lot of people's attention is the case of Winnie Ruth Judd, the trunk murderess. Uh, it's the most infamous crime to ever happen in Phoenix. Books have been written, movies loosely based. Wow. Uh, there's one play based on this, another one coming out next year. And uh, it is a private location, and the owner, Robert Warnicke, has been gracious enough to allow me to bring guests inside. And okay, so really quickly, what happened? So that's the crazy part, is we're not totally sure. The only thing we know for sure is two women were murdered. One was dismembered. Oh. Both of them found in trunks oh. in her possession in Los Angeles. Oh, man. But there's a lot of different versions of what may have happened. Right. The story keeps changing. That's what that's yeah. what makes it so interesting yeah. and why people want to see it on yes. one of your tours. Okay. Right. So we were also talking about some other things that you do, like your pub yeah, crawls, the which pub is crawl. great. Yep. Um, so on those, people get to drink on those? That's correct. So that one, we make three different stops at true crime locations here in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. The locations, they weren't always pubs. They're pubs now, but they're oh. historic locations here in Phoenix. And every place does come with a unique, 100% true, fact-based crime story. And if they want to buy a drink, they can. Some people just run along for the stories. But yeah, you can, you can purchase a drink on that one if you want. I mean, man, I feel like that would make the stories even better, right? Yeah. Having a, having a cocktail, a beer, whatever it is, yeah. while you listen to some of these kind of cool That's stories. That's the appeal. In the exact location. Yeah, I exactly. love it. And you were also telling me, because I was saying, you know, I've been on some kind of haunted tours. I went on one in New Orleans. And what was so cool is you get to walk through some of the cemeteries, mm -hmm. which is really, really crazy and definitely gives you that kind of like hair standing up on the back of your neck feeling. You were saying that you are, are working with one of the cemeteries here in town. That's correct. Yeah, the, the oldest cemetery in Phoenix is the Pioneer Military Memorial Park. It's closed off to the public. And Ooh. I am working with them right now to hopefully get my... I, I have a meeting this Thursday, and I think it's going to happen, where we will have exclusive access to this cemetery where a lot of local Phoenix legends are buried. Uh, there's a reputation of a man in white that roams the cemetery. Um, so, and really good wow. stories of the Old West in that cemetery. Oh, I'll bet. I mean, talk about ghost tours. I mean, woof, man. Yeah. So do you do a lot of these tours at night? So I do. I have a 2 o'clock spot okay. and a 7.30. So uh, I, the night tour does book more often, but with the day tour, I like that one too because you can see the locations a little bit better. So, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both of them have their pros. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I'm sure going during the day, getting to really see everything, but I'll bet that nighttime one gives you that real spooky yeah, vibe. Yeah, definitely does. So I want to know about Union Station, too, yep. real quick. What, what's the story behind that? So that, when I take people, first of all, that's a very historic location here in Phoenix, so mm -hmm. I'm very happy it even still exists. Yeah. Uh, but that is where Winnie attempted to escape Phoenix ah. with the trunks. Ah, uh, so, ooh, it's giving me chills just hearing so about it. So that's the last place in Phoenix those bodies ever were. Oh, man. Was at the Union train station. Gotcha. Okay, wow. Well, you got a lot of great locations we do. on each of these tours. Yeah. And the one is new, you said. Um, mm -hmm. So there's three specific tours that are specifically for kind of this season, Halloween season, the spooky time. Tell everybody where they can book these tours with you. SpiritofArizonaTours.com. Mm hmm or they can call us 602-551-6246. Nice. And these ghost tours, they run year round. 
So it's not just right now. I mean, they're very I'm sure, popular right now. I was going to say, I'm yeah. sure this is your busiest time. Absolutely. But you could go any time of any the time. year. Yep. And you have other tours as well, because yep. I know the holidays are coming up. Mm -hmm. So I know you do holiday light tours, yep. things like that. That's correct. Yep. Awesome. So yeah, so go um, hear about some of the spooky history right now. Yeah. And then in a couple months, go check out all the, the Christmas holiday lights. And we'll, we'll take care of you. Whatever I you want to do, we'll take care of you. I mean, I feel like just from interviewing you now mm -hmm. for a couple minutes, I've learned so much yeah. about Arizona history. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, yeah. Jared, thank you so much. Thanks All right, for guys. Me. Don't go away. The Arizona Daily Mix will be right back.